have never seen before. And the words no one wants to hear Tuesday won't be Houston we have a problem, but Laurel we have a problem. Mission Control is at the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Lab in Howard County. They'll anxiously wait for a signal not expected to arrive until 9 p.m. It says that a day there is as long as a week here. Back at the Smithsonian, folks were learning about Pluto and looking up. That has to be pointed at Earth for the communication to work. This is a life-size model of what has traveled nearly three billion miles. It looks like a satellite dish for, for, for television. I think that's amazing. It's a phenomenal feat uh, that we have come this far. Tom Rousey, ABC7 News. That's just fascinating. I love this stuff. It's pretty cool. It's Isn't amazing it? to think how far away it is. And so. it still is, has really hasn't gone anywhere. If you think about it, you know, just astronomically, the beginning. It, yeah, it's just at the beginning. Just the beginning. Love that stuff. And we are at the beginning of what is going to be two days of cooler weather. Yeah. And then we're going to really crank things up for the upcoming weekend. So if you like it hot and humid, right. I know you do. How about no more rain? We've had enough of that. There's more rain on the way. Hey, oh, look at Doppler on. radar right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Steve. It is Steve. quiet and dry around the Capitol Beltway. However, if you are watching us over in Annapolis, you are looking at some heavier rain at this time. Really a small, small cell. This is drifting across the bay and it's going to move on out of Annapolis over the next 10 to 15 minutes or so. Head a little bit further to the south and you'll look for Lusby beginning to clear out nicely. Long Beach, you're just on the northern edge of the cell also moving across the bay. Not going to become severe, but if you do hear some thunder, that's more than likely what's out there and it's moving away from your area. Widen the view out just a bit. Strong storms moving well to the south of the D.C. Metro impacting uh, the Richmond area where they have severe thunderstorm watches this evening. No watch no warnings for us here in DC. However, don't be surprised if you hear a few rumbles of thunder, maybe a scattered shower or two later on tonight. We still have that flood warning in effect for Shenandoah until 1230 AM, but otherwise it's going to be relatively quiet around here, at least for the time being. 81 degrees. That was our high. Hard to believe. Here we are July 13th. Temperatures about 8 to 10 degrees below average for this time of year. We'll warm things up as we move through the day tomorrow into the day on Wednesday and then a brief cool down and then a bigger warm up come the upcoming weekend. 77 right now at Reagan National Airport. The reason why it feels a bit sticky, a bit uncomfortable out there. Those dew point levels in the lower 70s. 72 Dulles, 73 Frederick, 70 in Winchester. These are pretty much the temperatures that we're going to see as we head through the overnight 67 to 72 for a low with just a few isolated showers. This is our future cast as we move through the early morning hours. It wants to pick up a few showers around the DC metro area. This is two, three, four o'clock in the morning. Dry things out nicely for the morning commute. And then as we move into the midday hours and the afternoon hours tomorrow, widespread showers, thunderstorms. Some may become severe with gusty winds and heavy downpours. Once this moves on out of here, we'll see yet another round of showers for the day on Wednesday. Wednesday, although the chances I think will be a little bit more limited and then by Thursday and Friday, lower humidity and a little bit cooler. Hey, the DC Burger Bash, that's tomorrow on the banks of the George of uh, Georgetown near the Gateway Park. The DC Burger Bash. Burger Bash. Look at that. Are we invited? Uh, everyone's Sounds invited. Like it's going to be around party, 90 though. degrees, <laughs> so it's going to be hot tomorrow and then we'll go and warm things up a little bit more and then cool things down. But look at the weekend, Saturday, Sunday and Monday. That's where we're really going to crank up the heat. 90 to 95 for daytime highs, heat index readings then mm -hmm. upper 90s to around 100 but the oh. burger bash tomorrow you know where the movie theaters are in georgetown yeah right, right underneath there. Uh, yep. whitehurst Gateway yeah. Park. actually those numbers look like the kind of burger the number of burgers that this guy might eat i was gonna say yeah, that I just know. made my night yeah. talking either. about burgers the skinny guys can get away <laughs> with it now <laughs> Yeah, but a fun night in baseball, though, home run derby. A Good. new format, too. Yeah, Fun right. stuff. Much better. All right, it's All right. a night where everyone goes yard, but only one could take home the trophy. Highlights from a very dramatic home run derby. That's next in sports. Nope. Finally, the wait is over. New this summer, visit Hershey Park and ride Laugh Track, the first indoor spinning glow coaster in the United States. Buy tickets today and discover your Hershey Park happy.